Hey everyone, welcome back to Carrots and Olives. My name is Brittany and I have this package because I have an obsession with something in here, <laughs> with a couple things in here that you will soon see. So this is actually quite a small um, order, even though the package is, is a little bit bigger. I got it from Atlas Stationaires and I am also an affiliate, so I will be sharing a link with you to get a discount on your order if you are placing an order with them. Okay, so first things first. I decided to get an extra book item and this is the Estrabrook uh, pen roll in army green it says adventures are are waiting And I decided to go with this color because I like my blues, um, but I also like, I like, I'm starting to like green more. I don't know. So this is the cup and this is in like their tan color. I didn't want to get another tan item, although it would aesthetically go with a lot of the things I have. I don't know why, but I decided to just go with a different color. I don't think there's nothing, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Let's see, it has a strap here. And it's really nice and soft on the inside. It has a flap to cover the top and then you just roll it and you can wrap it. I think there's an additional pocket on the outside as well. So let's see how it looks. I have some pens here and we can zoom in a little bit just to see how it looks. So these are some of the pens I'm gonna be talking about in my next video to sum up February and March. The pockets are pretty deep, which makes sense because these are meant to go uh, be used for the brand. So in Estrabook, and this would be one of their bigger pens, um, and this is one of their smaller pens. So, well, this is I guess a middle middleman pen. I don't have one of their junior pens, which would be, I'm guessing maybe something like this size, a little bit skinnier and smaller. So I can wrap it like this. I've got some fuzzies on there. And Just like that. So really cute. Oh, and it could stand next to my pen cup. So height wise, there's a little bit extra height with the pen cup um, stand, but this stands too. So that's good to note, I think. And um, this one, if you didn't see that video, has the insert here that you just put inside, and then you can put your fountain pens. I have something in here. Oh, yes, that was in there for traveling. Um, you can put your fountain pens in each of these little sections, and then it will stand up on its own. 
So really excited about this and I'm still loving this. This is uh, one of the items I did bring with me while I was traveling and my pens in here did not get damaged even though they were kind of squeezed in with the rest of the stuff I was taking with me. So definitely enjoying that. And now I have something else to enjoy and also to sit, be able to sit on my desk as well. So I did not realize this, but Yoseka or um, my last tin I purchased from Von Kuhin and uh, it is magnetic. So you can put magnets on here. This is one of my personal magnets I created out of my artwork. And this one is from Pen Chalet. So I really like these. And if you get a bunch of them, you can see with the impression here that they will stack on each other. So in this one, I do typically have it open, but I had it closed because I use this for traveling. So I put all of my little... Um, like letterpress, cards, and accessories for journaling in here. And I sit that on my desk. So I found this at um, Atlas. And I decided to get a different color. I don't think that they actually had this muted pink. Oh wow. So it's a Toyo toolbox. T190 and I decided to get this blue which is really blue <laughs> um, it's more like a shiny metallic blue but it's meant to stack on each other which is really cool so you can get a rainbow of colors or stick with a monotone color palette however you want um, but it will just kind of have this closure and it's a really nice snap and I think it kind of holds a good amount of items in here so what do I plan to put in here I have not figured that out yet but I do have a lot of things I can do or I can put in here I was thinking possibly putting in my Kita tape because they kind of fit perfectly, but I don't have enough to fill the whole box, so they will just fall. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure if I want to stick with this idea or kind of keep it open. I guess I could stick with this idea and just add a few more things. So the only problem is that it won't close if the key to tape is all the way up. And it won't close with that in there either. But it'll close like this. And I could just add another another one of my magnets on here. So here's a side view. And the nice thing is that I could just stack it on my desk and um, they will be within reach. Last but not least, I decided to get an Estra book. So can you guess which one I got? There's quite a lot to choose from. I really like their packaging. And ta-da! I decided to get the Botanical Garden and I got the one with the gold trim. This is actually really pretty. <laughs> Prettier than I thought it would be. Um, I typically lean towards, I guess you could say cooler colors. And this is, even though there's yellow in here, it feels like there's enough cool colors that, um, like the reds, the burgundy and the blue and the green, 
that are what's really making me happy here. So really pops. I like the gold accent rather than the silver. And this is just an Esterbrook SD. I think, what's this? Scan to activate your pen. This is really cute. I will probably add this to my journal. I don't think I actually received one of these little cards before. They do give you a cartridge, um, but the pen should come with a converter. There we go. So I'm going to actually ink it up and do a quick writing sample. I decided to get a fine because um, that's what I've been using to uh, journal and to use in my planner. So I want to be able to use my fountain pens more often and I've been leaning a little bit towards smaller fountain pen nib sizes so that I could do that. So I've decided to ink up the pen with Montegrappa Night Bus Purple Harry Potter. And this is a really nice rectangle bottle with the fancy gold uh, top and the um, emblem for Harry Potter up top as well. And I'm gonna use my traveler's notebook as this will be a good entry to talk about this new pen. So today is March. 25th, fine and it seems a little bit scratchy going like to the right but going down um, and to the left is okay
we may hear some feedback. But other than that, I think it's pretty solid. Yeah, I might need to just do a couple of movements on some mesh, but I think overall I'm quite pleased with what I have. Sorry for all the shaking. Um, it does write pretty juicy on this Tomoe River insert. Fine nib. And I can write in reverse, although it's a little scratchy. But not really dry. The ink is quite vibrant and pretty. I think this ink really pops on this paper because it's white and bright and it's also Tomoe River. So really excited about that. Let's, yeah, it's pretty wet for a fine, fine nib, so. Anyway, so I um, hope you enjoyed my video. If you have any questions, let me know. Feel free to comment down below, and I will catch you in the next in the next video. Bye. Hey everyone, I know I uh, talked about how it was in good shape, and it is. I actually looked it up under the loop, my nib and the tines were just a little bit off. So just by adjusting the tines, which if you're wondering how to do that, um, the simplest way that I do is either to tilt the pen on the side where the tine is either too high or too low, typically too low, and I will just push to try to get it even so that there's no scratching. So when the tines are not even, they will look like this, I mean, that's kind of extreme, um, but you have to look at it under a loop um, in many cases. So they'll just be off just by a little bit. Um, if you're looking at my fingers here, just trying to demonstrate. So it was off just by a little bit, which is why this one was dragging when I would go across to the right. So I pushed up a little bit on this one to even it out. And now it writes really good. So I did some journaling last night and... Um, I am really, I'm more than happy now that um, it's corrected and it writes smooth. There's just a tid, like a tid, a tad bit of feedback. Um, so it's not like glassy smooth, uh, but it makes it easier for me to um, control. So I like, I don't mind glassy smooth. I don't mind super feedbacky as long as it's not scratchy. And I feel like there is a, a big, there's a difference between the two. Um, and it's something that you kind of have to learn over time, unless there's someone who is uh, familiar with fountain pens that could show you, especially if you're new to fountain pens. So just, you know, it's one of those things you learn. And I didn't have anyone to really show me personally what it feels like 
And um, it was just something I've had to experience myself over time. So this is my journal and um, I figured I could do just an entry showing you guys how well it writes. And it's still very inky, very like wet for a fine nib. And this is the new Sanson to my river paper. So yes, I am really pleased with this pen. Again, with Esther Books, there is like a cap in here to keep the nib sealed and so it um, doesn't dry out on you. And so that requires you to kind of push in and twist, which may be a little bit more time consuming for people who need something that's quick. Uh, but other than that, it's, it's a beautiful pen and I'm so glad it writes really well.